So, how's school going? It's actually going really well. I found a really cool research opportunity right here at U of T. Me too. I'm really excited about it. Oh, that's cool. I'm still looking for one. How did you do it? In this video, we'll give you tips on how to find an undergraduate research opportunity. We'll cover seven main topics and give you a lot of different ideas about pursuing research opportunities, including determine your interests in research, discover different ways to explore research, how to apply, how to prepare for the interview, the day of the interview, after the interview, and patience and perseverance. So one of the first things you need to do is determine your interests. You can start by visiting departmental and researchers websites, then review posters and hallways near laboratories. Follow up on topics that sparked your interest in lectures and courses. Read both general and specialty journals to get a better overview of a topic. Once you have an area of interest that you want to pursue, speak to course instructors and professors, teaching assistants, and graduate students whose areas of study are of interest to you. Talk to classmates and upper year students, especially those who have already participated in undergraduate research, including the Research Opportunity Program, credit courses, and summer student research opportunities. Join undergraduate student societies and unions, which often provide information sessions and seminars about research experiences. Look for opportunities listed on departmental office bulletin boards and websites, usually listed under undergraduate or summer programs. Visit glse.utoronto.ca for undergraduate research opportunities available in the life sciences at U of T. Check our several graduate and undergraduate research information fairs for more information. Check out the Center for International Experience for Research Opportunities Abroad. See work-study positions on the Career Center website. Discover opportunities at affiliated hospitals and their research institutes. Review the University of Toronto Blue Book at bluebook.utoronto.ca to find professors. You'll need to pick your area of research and start applying at least eight months before you hope to begin. It is competitive and there are a limited number of research positions available. Send individual messages to professors you want to work with. Don't send mass messages and show that you are aware of the professor's field of research. Also include a cover letter that describes your research interests, program, and year of study and career goals. Keep track of application deadlines. Summer research opportunities are often posted in the fall term. Talk to a career counselor about career management, cover letters, resumes, and interviews. Ensure your information is accurate and up to date. Contact your references ahead of time to let them know that they may be asked for a reference. Learn all you can about the professor's research, publications, and website. Review interview information, including date, time, and location. Bring a notepad and a pen, a copy of your cover letter, resume, names of contact addresses of potential referees, and, if applicable, a portfolio or sample of your work. For example, you could bring old lab notebooks from undergrad lab courses. Arrive punctually and turn off your cell phone. Listen carefully and speak clearly. Be ready to talk about any research you have done and your interest in science and research. Ask questions and take notes. After the interview, follow up. Some researchers are willing to give you feedback about your interview. Contact as many professors as possible to increase your chances. Be patient, as it may take professors time to consider all applicants. Don't get discouraged if you don't get the position. Science is competitive, but most students eventually find a position. Wow, that's lots to think about. Only eight months lead time? I better get to it. I want to see you guys later.